If I get cancer from e-cigs, man, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Woo, I'm gonna be heated. Because we know cigarettes give you cancer, but you look cool doing it. So that's the trade-off. Like, I'll take a little cancer if I look dope while it happens. <laughs> but you look like an asshole with a vape. You look like a fucking obnoxious piece of shit with, with an e-cig. You can't also give me cancer. I'm already suffering in life. <laughs> Dude, I'd be so embarrassed. I'd disappear. Nobody would ever see me. I'd go run in the woods. You'd never find me again. I couldn't go home. I could, there was no way I could go home. It would, my dad and his dad both got cancer from Winston cigarettes. That's a man's cigarette. That shit's tough. I can't show up and be like, I got cancer from fruit medley. <laughs> They'd be like, you got cancer from flavors? Flavors is what got you? I was like, the cucumber's tough. Uh, um. Man, it's been, comedy's been good, personal life's been a bit all over the place. It was a long year, honestly. Uh, I mentioned I grew up in Puerto Rico and it was a tricky year for us. The tricky year, my family's still there. And, and it was a rough year after the hurricane. It was a lot going on. And I'm excited, I gotta go see family soon again. And it's weird, because last time I went home, my dad thanked me, which threw me off. He doesn't do that. He, but he thanked me, and the reason, what happened was, right before the hurricane hit, my parents had to relocate. They had to leave, they had to relocate to Florida. They were in Tampa for a little bit. And at the time, my dad didn't want to go. And I had to call him and be like, hey, dude, like, like what's going on? <laughs> like, 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 we got to go. Like, it's, it's a category five. That's all the categories. <laughs> like, they didn't make any more because nobody stuck through five. What the fuck, dude? It was so weird. I mean, I went to visit them when they were in Tampa. Tampa's, Tampa's the capital of dudes in flip-flops who want to fight. Like, that's... Some might call it the Buffalo of the South. <laughs> Dude, Tampa's such a weird, cause there's a bunch of like Northerners there, so they still have like the fucking, like that sort of attitude, but they're all in board shorts. So it's like, I can't take you seriously. <laughs> I was down there, I remember I was down there, like I accidentally bumped into a dude at the bar and spilled some of his beer and he turned around and he was like, dude, I'll wreck you right now, son. I'll wreck you in Tampa, Ybor City, all day. I'll wreck you. <laughs> dude, calm down, you're wearing a toe ring. Like, I can't. <laughs> like every time you giggle, your toes wiggle like that. <laughs> it's adorable, I'll put you in my pocket. But I was thankful, man. I was happy my dad thanked me, and I'm thankful my parents raised me in a way where we could have that conversation. Like, my parents always kind of treated me as an equal growing up. Like, I never really got hit growing up. Like, that's pretty big for Spanish people. <laughs> that's progress. Where you only kind of get hit, that shows evolution. Like, we're growing. <laughs> The only, the, only, the, only time I, the only time I ever got hit was when I talked back to my grandma and I told her ginger ale wasn't real medicine. That <laughs> uh, was 22. Um, I never really got hit, but I did see my aunt crack a broomstick over my cousin's back. Yeah, that shit was intense. Because at the time, my cousin was like 16, maybe 17, and he was trying to like... Like he was trying to like, like buck up. You know what I mean? He was trying to act like, like he was grown and my aunt went to like smack him with her hand and he grabbed her hand. Yeah, minorities get it, exactly. Uh, he grabbed her hand and she just like, just like snapped down and walked away in silence. Have you guys ever heard silence? It's deafening. It is terrifying to see an adult walk away in silence. And she just walked away and left the room. And my cousin started celebrating. He was like, man, I told you she wasn't going to do nothing. I said, this is my house. I told you I run this. This is my house. And as he said, this is my house, my aunt came from around the corner. She ran in like a wrestler running in the ring who wasn't announced, <laughs> like a special guest. And she just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and snap that shit, dude. But the man, the, and the coldest shit was as she did it, she stared at me and my other cousin in the eye, <laughs> which is terrifying. I mean, like, I don't know if you should or shouldn't hit your kids, but if you do, make sure the whole lither's there so you only have to do it once. 